Do not crucify your bee because of a stripe. He is only what God has given him. Najato to Nigerians, welcome to the news and please so subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post hot juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. Former Director, Civil Society, APC Presidential Campaign Council, Nadato Bala Mohammed has cautioned some Nigerians who criticize the presidential candidate of the Liberal Party, LPP, to be because of his tribe. During the discussion on AIT, Najato said that she has always fought people over P2B for one reason. According to her, one should not crucify people because of their tribe. She changed Nigerians. She challenged Nigerians, especially those who are not from the Southeast extraction, to refrain from crucifying the presidential candidate of the Liberal Party, P2B, because of his tribe. According to her, no one can choose the tribe and their parents. Therefore, there is no reason why someone should crucify others because they hail from a particular region. Now, that is noted that P2B is only what God has given him just the way she is what God has given her. In her words, I have always fought people over P2B for one reason. You should not crucify a person because of his tribe. You do not choose a tribe. You do not even choose your parent. So do not crucify him because of his tribe. He is only what is given him, just like I am what God has given me. I don't understand. Okay, I don't understand why she's making this statement, but I love the way she's coming out. Coming out to be tribalistic. Uh, you're from this tribe, you're from this tribe. Come to think about it. I have never thought about it from this angle. You don't get to choose your tribe. You do not get to choose your tribe. You don't choose your tribe. You don't choose your parents. You don't choose, uh, what's it called, your brothers and sisters. You don't choose them. All those things, they are what nature and what God gives to you. But come to think of it, Nigerians, there is something we can choose. We can choose how our life would be. Even though for many, for some years in, in life, you're not going to choose from, let's say, 1st to 15 to 18 to even, let's say, 21, 22, before you start making some decisions for yourself. Eh? You not. But now, Nigerians, we have the opportunity to make, to make a choice. Let me put it in that angle. We have the opportunity to make a choice. So we should not say, because this person comes from this place, we no go vote for him. Because this person is a member. What's we even, that is why I keep saying we should choose competency, credibility, capability over tribe, over religion by religious bigotry. The only thing we can choose, this is one of the things that we can choose for ourselves. This is one of the things we can choose for ourselves as adults. So Nigerians, we could make our choice well. Honestly, if I am given a second chance to choose any tribe, I will still choose the Southeast. I have been to all the six geopolitical zones and none is better than the Southeast. This is your own opinion. Others will have their own opinion as well. The reason why people cannot stay in your cherry but constitutes nuisance not on West Haba. Those trying to crucify P2B are those who judge the book by its cover will be as many of them in many ramifications. And let me tell you, there is nobody that is better than the other. It is all our individuality. It is all about nature and nurture. Now, if you bring somebody who is raised in the Southeast, a Southeasterner who is raised in the Southeast, and a Southeasterner who is raised in the North, those people are definitely not going to be the same. But this one is from the Southeast, and the other one, the Southeast as well. So nature and nurture is taken apart. I'm saying this because there are people who classify. Once one person don't do something, they don't use that attitude. They classify a whole tribe. It is called stereotyping. And I think it is, I don't know, I don't know if it is prejudice as well. It is not okay. Don't assume. Don't stereotype. Because this one person from the South is do this. Before you know it, not all of them be. Like I said, somebody who is a Southeasterner, who grew or who was trained or who grew up in the southeastern region and somebody who is also from the southeast but was grew up brown and he was he was trained or he grew up in the northern part of nigeria those two people can never behave the same way even if you take one member of a family the same family i'm even going too far a family you take one of them they give birth to one then 
from maybe seven, eight, nine, ten, you take the person to maybe maybe the northern region or the southwestern region, the two will not behave the same. Even if it is twins, they will not behave the same way. It is not possible because nature, like I said, nurture. And so that is why we should not even we should keep what we should be even thinking about is individuality. Is this person going to behave differently? Is this person going to come and make things better for us? Is this person going to come and going to turn a blind ear? I mean a blind eye, not blind ear rather, a, mind, a, a blind eye to whatever we have been saying. Will you come and keep a deaf ear to whatever we have been saying? This is what you are going to be looking at. Somebody who will come in and who is going to act differently. Who is going to have emotions? We have not had somebody who has emotions. As in who show emotions? Who show that, oh, I feel for those people. Who can relate to what you are saying? So we don't get to choose our tribe, but the only thing we, as in the one, the one thing, one of the things we are, we are supposed to choose or we have the opportunity to choose is to choose how the course of our life will go. And one of them is choosing who votes, who rules over us, who lords over us. Hmm? Let us pick somebody who is definitely going to make an impact, not just an impact, a positive impact on us. We don't get to choose a lot of things. We get to choose who 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 leads us we to make sure we choose rightly and wisely eh this are the, we get to choose the person you get married to you get to choose you know if you you get to say okay this is how i want my life to be let us make sure we we'll make the right choices we don't have a lot of choices to make okay if they not hate us this much why are they holding us we can still go separately and become good friends the thing is i don't think you understand where Najat is even coming from Okay. Please tell the association of people without subjugates to know that we cannot tolerate mediocrity anymore. <laughs> yeah. There is nothing wrong with this tribe. What is going on is political gang up against the Southeast. Talking about tribe, I stand to be corrected, but there is no tribe in the entire black race that is as productive, enterprising, and prosperous as a typical Igbo man. What has also other good tribes served Nigeria from independence, corruption, nepotism, and poverty? The pair of the Igbos are themselves. And the day they will decide to speak with one voice, their problem will be half solved. Well, um, I don't think you're going to put it like that. If you put it like that, it's kind of smearing. And <laughs> they even talk to you, and I think they come and say, and I think they arrogance, that it's there for anybody. And I think they carry and I save hope. Now, waiting be people problem. But if you look at it, that is not, not even within the custom. Now, like I said, we cannot behave the same way, even if you're even from the same family. The main cocoa here is who is going to behave in a way, who is going to have Nigeria's heart, who will come in and will be like, I want this country to get better in my time. Let it be, let history say in the history of Nigeria from so time to so time, the people in Nigeria got fed up of bad governance and we actually voted for the right person. Make history carry on like that. It is going to be a wonderful history. I'm telling you, if my name follow for that history, it will make sense. So Nigerians, the ball is in our court. We have the the future of this country is resting on us. Let us make sure we don't make them, we don't uh, let them, the coming generations down. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.